Here he comes. That motor doesn't sound happy. So here's the engine that's going on the amphibious go-kart. It's the 79cc that originally came off of Ike's mini bike. It's very slow, but it's really light, and we actually have a stash of those. So if we lose that one, we have- I More. Think, yeah, I think we have three or four more. Where are we headed, bud? Lowe's. For some more PVC, for more flotation. We're leaving Lowe's with our PVC. Uh, we got some glue and some test caps because I didn't want to spend $35 on caps. And this is for testing purposes only. Yeah, this isn't going to be like a, a regular, I guess. Just, just a couple of uh, trips across the ocean. Yeah, a couple yeah. Of trips down to Cuba. Yeah. Don't try this at home, everybody. We need to fly a flag on that, dude. It's a missed opportunity. The paint! Now we're headed to the tractor supply. Are we? Yeah, we have to get a gear. Okay. All right, so here we are on the sprocket section. I can already tell you they do not, they they do not have a 35 you chain sprocket. So we didn't have any luck tractor supply. So Ike is gonna run to agri supply in the morning, but tonight we're gonna be fastening those to the underside of the go-kart. We'll try uh, the Murray tires on the back of the uh, $50 go-kart. See how those work. It should work, it's the same axle. Ike's cutting the PVC we just bought in halves so we can mount them underneath the go-kart. Pretty efficient, dude. Kind of reminds me of a raft that someone would build on the Discovery Channel. Kind of, kind of reminds me of a raft that someone would build if they're on a deserted island. Yeah, that's what I mean by Discovery Channel. Wilson! It's gonna look ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's extra flotation, dude. Yeah. Extra flotation. Those are our paddles. All we'd need now is a little rudder or something. To steer with. Yep. Now. You could have the paddle and just hold the paddle to one side like a canoe. Yep. To yep. steer. <sighs> Bit of a bummer. Yeah. With the wheel. Yeah. Man, that would have been so cool. Yeah, but the brake's in the way. It won't yeah. fit all the way on. Yeah. And, which means on the, uh, other side, the sprocket would have been in the way. Yeah. So, yeah. But now we get to put pa like real paddles on it, and I think yeah. that would be really cool. Yeah. You don't sound like it'll be really cool. Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I cut some pieces of pipe to use as a rear bumper, or to hold the piece of two by four we have. And now I'm gonna weld them in place. Would you like to tell the viewers uh, what kind of welder it is, since they keep asking? Yeah, it's a Lincoln Power MIG 210. Lincoln Power MIG 210. Yeah. Very nice welder. Yeah, it's done everything we've asked of it so far. Covered. Did you even check the setting? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Um, yeah, you got to make sure it's really nice because it, it, that bar could keep us from going down 20 feet below or <laughs> to Davy Jones's uh, locker. To Davy Jones's locker. Did I hear it, Paul? <laughs> so we got the rear bumper welded on. Now I'm not going to show it to you too up close because uh, it looks like garbage. It'd be fine. Yep, but this go-kart was kind of white trash when we got it, so it would only make sense if it went back to white trash sooner or later. So we've been sitting here for 20 minutes trying to figure out some kind of propulsion system, and every way that we've thought of has either is either going to add a lot of weight 
a lot of complexity or it's really going to interfere with these pontoons that are going that way down a go-kart. When Ike had a brilliant idea, which was... We'll just steal the uh, front tires off the Murray, which are knobby, and we'll put them on the uh, rear wheels of the uh, $50 go-kart. And uh, those little knobs will act kind of like paddles, hopefully. I mean, it's going to give us very little speed at all, but better than nothing, right? That's right. So we're going to run that tire over with this car to get the tire off the rim because it's very much attached. Friendly reminder, don't try this at home. Definitely don't try this at home. Both sides off the rim, and now it's all blurry, but that'll be fine. Oh, about to cut a piece of wood. Because this one that the pontoon was hooked up or sitting on has a crack in it. And I don't want to board the brake and go down the ship. What you doing, bud? Robbing another tire. Poor Murray's becoming the, the parts cart. Not for long though, because we got a big shipment coming in from Go Power Sports for this thing. Thanks, Go Power Sports. <laughs> Should be pretty freaking cool what we're gonna do to this. You guys are just gonna have to wait and see. <sighs> Dang it, Bobby. There it is. And if any of y'all want to know what this green stuff is, it's called slime. It's used for putting in your tire if you can't find a leak and you just want it to stop. It works wonders. Oh, it's some awesome stuff. mean she jacked up quite a bit more too oh yeah we got the boards mounted with some uh, wood screws it's pretty uh I don't know how to say it but it's for it's for testing purposes only it's pretty janky yeah say this is not our style but it kind of is yeah kind of is now before we had the two by four standing up right and sitting on top of the frame now they're below the frame and the boards are laying down we ought to gain at least three inches of you know coming up higher out of the water at least the engine on the other hand You know, I reckon it'll be all right if the butt of it is in the water, just as long as it's not. I don't want the fan. Lapping up water. Yeah, lapping up the water. So. Yeah, I hope we don't brick this 212. Good morning, peoples. Last night, after we turned the cameras off, we found out that the throttle cable was stuck um, from it being in the river previously. As you can imagine, this kind of stuff isn't really designed to go swimming, so it messed up the throttle cable. The rain is holding off more or less, so we're going to take this opportunity to go out for a land test drive and uh, 
take it out on the water. But there are some things we have to do. We have to bolt down the engine. Uh, I think we're gonna need to get a new throttle cable. What else? Oh, we need to go get some buoys that we can tie on these uh, side supports here. So if the uh, pontoons fail, those will kind of be a safety measure so we don't lose the thread. You can uh, get on it and I'll crank it up. Oh, thanks, right? Yeah. Well, I just want you to hold the brakes just in case she runs away. Yeah, it's not like a 670 it won't really run away. Uh, let me see. On, start is on, oh, fuel's on. He'll be fine. It's all you, buddy. Is that full throttle? What? Was that full throttle? That oh. was. Try that again. Yep. Is the choke on? Not anymore. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> He's going to have to drive all the way to the end to turn around. I feel like I'm driving some kind of like battleship and these are just like giant cannons on the side. Did you make it all the way to the end? No, I off-roaded it and it actually does pretty good because we got some hobby tires. And you didn't bust the pipe or anything? What? You didn't bust any of the pipe? I guess not. Okay. It'll be fine. That's right. There's still a lot of dew in the grass. Off-roading it might have been a bad choice. You said dew. <laughs> you want to give it a shot? Well, Dude, I don't think I need to. It's yeah. kind of cool. It's like you're driving a giant battleship. I totally forgot about the floats we had on the bottom. I hope my off-roading didn't destroy them. This is actually pretty interesting. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It kinda is. I feel like I'm driving your, your 58 Cadillac. Now. Yeah, yeah. It actually is a, a land yacht. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. 32 freaking dollars? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what boat stands for? Break, Break out, out another thousand. thousand. All right, so we're out here by the boat ramp and we're gonna say our predictions. I'm gonna say that it's gonna go in the water and even move a little bit, but when we try to get it back on the boat ramp, it's gonna get stuck and we, we're, it's not gonna be able to go up on its own power. Uh, I also think that our floats on the bottom are going to get some water in them. What do you think, Ike? Well, of course I think they're going to get water in them. You help glue them. Um, Jeez. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be able to go in the water and it's going to probably move at like a crawl. Yep. But hey, if it moves any faster, that's just going to be a bonus. Taylor? Well, he stole mine. I guess I'll say it's gonna go in there and go really fast. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Man, I like Taylor's prediction. Yeah, I know. Am I cranking it? Yeah, I can crank it actually. All right.
like, will it turn? Will it turn? Is that full throttle? Dude, that motor really does not look happy. No, it doesn't. I'm sure there's all kinds of water getting an in intake. Yeah. Um, do, yeah. We, do we need to think about the road? Or? Uh, he's got a paddle. Okay. Hey, we're speeding up. Yeah. Look, the water's going backwards. Oh, it is, isn't it? Next time on Cars and Cameras, we show you how to get water out of an engine. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, now it's a paddleboard. Hey, look, I'm surfing. We'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> day for sale for boating yeah I stalled Ugh. Bobby! go um not a 100 percent success but you were out there for half an hour are you serious yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll save you take a long pin put them up underneath i won't be able to drive anymore won't be able to drive but i want to see if it'll move better just for testing purposes only. all right <laughs> oh it looks a little bit more uh Capsizey. Capsizey. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna eat this. That's cool. Uh, I think it's because the pontoons are a little bit further in. Yep. But he was cool. He was like, don't fire up the motor. I'll have to ride your ticket. So Ike is uh, 
Oh, yeah, he's in EV mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> EV mode. <laughs> hybrid. It's a hybrid. What's up, man? I'm ah, just putting stuff away. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is your build-off car, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. That's a nice header you stole from Taylor. We are done with the amphibious go-kart for today. The uh, the game warden kind of kind of ran us off, so we decided to have lunch again. Yeah. But anyway, next time we're gonna need to move the engine up a little bit so the water won't catch the fan and we're going to put some kind of paddle on it and we're going to make some rudders for it so it can actually be functioning so it's not just like a go-kart with pontoons on it so it's actually kind of like a boat did a little bit of moving yeah it, it moved a little bit that's for sure but not a whole lot not enough not enough you'll be fine that's right <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Huh? <laughs> Are you deaf now? What? So anyway, if you guys have suggestions for our amphibious go-kart, please let us know. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Got to thank Go Power Sports for all these parts. After all, they did send us the axle and the sprocket and the chain and the clutch. Hopefully the bearings aren't trash now, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Ready, Taylor? Yeah. One, two, three, go, gentle push. <laughs> 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 Dude, it, 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 it